taking our inspiration from northern Italy today, and we're going to make a very simple Italian dessert, a perennial favourite, that's tiramisu. Tiramisu literally means pick me up, um, tira, pull me up, misu. Um, and I guess that's because of the coffee that's in it. Um, it just gives you a nice little lift at the end of the meal. The main ingredients for tiramisu I have in front of me. Um, the one thing that you can't do with that is mascarpone cheese. It's, it really is the taste of the dessert. So I'll show you how to substitute some other things, but this you really can't. So good quality tiramisu, which you can get in your supermarket. Most of them have their own makes. Then we have boudoir biscuits, or what some people call lung de chat, cat's tongues, and coffee. A really good tiramisu will be made with cafeteria coffee, with ground, uh, ground coffee, but I think we're trying to keep it simple. It's stuff you can have in your cupboard. So we're gonna use instant coffee today. The other things you're going to need are a couple of eggs, some double cream, some caster sugar, vanilla. If you just have uh, vanilla essence, that'll do as well. Um, some sort of alcohol, usually it's Kahlua or Tia Maria or some type of coffee liqueur. You can use masala wine. I actually like rum in it, so that's what we're going to use today. And the final topping is a nice, good cocoa powder. Again, if you don't have that, use hot chocolate. It'll taste a little bit different, but hey, let's improvise. So I put three tablespoons on my ground coffee granules, and I've used the same three tablespoons of caster sugar uh, with a little bit of boiling water just to dissolve it. I've topped it up with about three quarters of a cup of cold water, so it's not too hot. And now we're gonna add our alcohol. It's a taste thing, really. You don't want it to be too strong, but you do want to be able to taste the alcohol. So let's add a couple of nice capfuls, let's make it three, shall we, of rum to the mixture. Give it a good stir. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it over our biscuits. So what I've done, I've got my dish. It's always nice to have a clear glass dish so that you can see the layers once you've made your tiramisu. I've laid them all out like little soldiers and I've covered, completely covered the bottom of the dish with the biscuits. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully pour over the coffee mixture. You don't wanna to have too much because it really doesn't wanna to be too soggy, but you wanna have enough so that the biscuits will be totally covered with the coffee. So you're probably going to use about half of the mixture you have. And there you have your Buddha biscuits covered in coffee. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this to set while we make our tiramisu mixture. Okay, so let's start making the tiramisu. I've got 500 grams of mascarpone cheese, which are going into the bowl. I always use a bowl that's got quite a lot of capacity because you're gonna be doing a bit of mixing here, so it's just gonna be easier if we have a bit of space. Then we're gonna to add to it the double cream. This is already extra thick double cream, but if you don't have that, just use normal double cream and whip it up. It, the effect is exactly the same. Now to this, we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna use my spatula to measure that. Again, it's, it's really a matter of how sweet you want it to be. Mix that in, and to this we're gonna add our eggs. Um, I've just cracked a couple of whole eggs into this. What I would say though, is that if you're going to make this and you've got any young kids or pregnant babies, I would suggest that you use pasteurized eggs because if you're not going to eat this within the next 12 to 24 hours, it's not such a good idea to make it with using raw eggs because they do go off much more quickly than anything else. Pasteurized eggs, you can get it in a carton. It's like buying long life milk. Most supermarkets will have it. And it'll tell you on the packet how, how, what the quantity is. So you'll just measure out a couple of eggs and mix it in. So we really just want to combine this into a nice, smooth consistency. And as we're going along, we're going to add a few drops of our vanilla essence. Vanilla is such a lovely flavour 
that if you're particularly fond of it, go ahead and just add a little bit more. You're not going to ruin the taste. I often use this whisk because it just helps me to get all the lumps out of the mixture. And there we are, ready for stage three. So in the last few minutes, our Budok biscuits have absorbed all the coffee and we're now going to begin our layering. The first thing we're going to do now is to add the first layer of our tiramisu cream. You want to get half of the quantity into the bowl. And then we'll just smooth it nicely over the biscuits. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a homemade dessert after all. But let's just get a nice thick layer of cream onto the biscuits. The next thing to do is we're going to layer another go of boudoir biscuits like we did before. And again, we're going to cover that with coffee. So like nice little soldiers all in a row. It doesn't really matter if they all go the same way, just as long as you cover the base of your dish. And if they don't really fit perfectly, break them, add them in, it's fine. Okay? And so for the rest of our coffee. Don't worry about throwing the coffee onto the cream, you'll see it's like magic. The biscuits are going to absorb the coffee. Like sponges. We'll just tip it up a little bit to help it along. And as you can see, most of the coffee is disappearing very nicely into our biscuits. And now, the rest of the cream. Your tiramisu is now ready to set in the fridge. And the final, t the final thing is to put the cocoa on the top. I always prefer to let it set properly before I add the coffee, the, the cocoa powder. And the reason is that if you do add it straight away, you'll find that it actually looks quite wet when you take it out. So put it in the fridge. You'll need to leave it for three or four hours at least, if not overnight. And when you're ready to go, then you can add the cocoa. So if there's someone special in your life and you just want to personalize this a little bit, here's a little tip. I've cut out a little card shape with some, um, with some paper. And now we're going to add the cocoa powder to the top of the tiramisu. Use a sieve because you don't really want lumps of lumps of cocoa around your dessert. And just as I'm doing with a little teaspoon, just shake a nice dusting of cocoa, which will complement the sweetness of the cream underneath. And it'll just give it that nice little chocolate kick to the top. So just make sure you've got the whole top covered with a nice, Delicious layer of cocoa. And now, when you're ready to go, we'll just tidy the top up and very carefully, very gently, lift off your little heart. And there you are, finding for love.